Hello everyone. Welcome back to our channel. Hope you all are doing good. Today we are going to start CA Foundation Quick Revision classes for September 2024 exams. If you haven't subscribed it, make sure to hit the subscribe button for clear and concise explanations of each chapter along with practical sums and few MCQs at the end. Today we will begin with the accounting process. In this video we will cover the overview of accounting process from recording general entries to preparing the balance sheet. Let's get started. What do you mean by the accounting process? Accounting process is a series of steps that will start with recording transactions and ends with preparation of the financial statements. Now you can see the overview of the steps. First we record the general entries and then we post into ledgers. From there we prepare the trial balance and then comes the trading and profit and loss account. At the end we prepare the balance sheet. Now we'll go through the steps in detail. General entries. We record all the transactions in general which includes debits and credits based on the golden rules of accounting. And next comes the ledger postings. All the general entries which we have recorded will transfer these general entries to the ledger with a detailed account book for each transaction. From there, we summarize all these ledger balances into a trail balance to check their arithmetical accuracy. From trail balance, we prepare the trading and profit and loss account to determine the gross profit or loss, also the net profit or loss of the company. Finally, we prepare the balance sheet to show the financial position of the business. In our upcoming videos, we will discuss every step mentioned above in detailed manner. For accounting process, we consider an example and understand it in practically. For example, Mr. A had a transaction of sales rupees thousand. Let's go through the steps as discussed above. First, we write the general entry. What will be the general entry? Cash account debit to sales. Here we debit the cash account because Mr. A is receiving the cash and we create sales account because it is an income. Here we do the ledger posting. You can see in cash account ledger, we post the date and particulars and amount rupees in debit. In sales account ledger, date, particulars and amount rupees 1000. We prepare the trial balance. Why do we prepare the trial balance? To ensure the total debits equal to the trades. In this case, debit side cash account 1000 rupees and credit side sales 1000 rupees. So here the debit and credit gets tallied. So here we don't have that much enough data to capture in the trading and PNL account. We'll just understand what exactly the trading account and the PNL account uses. In trading account, we calculate the gross profit by deducting the cost of goods from sales. In the profit and loss account, we subtract all expenses from the gross profit to find out the net profit. In our upcoming videos, we will be having a clear session on calculating gross profit and net profit. Step in the accounting process like balance sheet preparation. In our example structure, we are having assets like asset means cash in this case. So cash of 1000 rupees and we don't have any liabilities as of now because we didn't consider any good example for those liabilities or capitals. So in this case, liabilities and capitals will be none. Always remember the profit or loss from the PNL account will be added or deducted from the capital account in the balance sheet. These are the particular steps which we need to follow. Now let us look at the MCQs. First question is, what is the primary purpose of a trial balance? As we all know, trial balance comes after ledger postings, right? So to ensure the arithmetical accuracy of the ledger, we prepare the trial balance where debit should always equal to the credit. So in this case, our option should be B to check the arithmetical accuracy of the ledger. Second question is, what is the primary step in the accounting process? Let us look at the steps which we discussed in the earlier. The primary step will be the general entries, recording of the general entries. And then we prepare the ledger accounts. From there, we prepare the trail balance. From there, trading and profit and loss account. And the final step is balance sheet. So now the option is B, recording of the general entries. And the next question is, in which account do we record the final balance of profit and loss account? As we discussed earlier, the debit balance or credit balance in PNL, it means 
loss or income in the P&L will be transferred to the capital accounts. So in our case, the option is capital account. Next question is which is not part of the balance sheet. Already we discussed balance sheet shows the financial position of a company in which we take assets, liabilities and capital account. So let us look at the MCQs options and we find out the answer. Cash account, yes, it is an asset. Profit and loss account, no. And we look at the other options and we'll come to the final conclusion. And the next one is equipment account. Yeah, it is an asset. Accounts payable. Yeah, it is a liability. So our option in this case will be profit and loss account. Hope you all are clear with these concepts. If you have any questions or any topic you want to discuss, please do comment. In this video, we have covered the accounting process in detail, including the steps from general entries to the balance sheet. Make sure to practice these concepts thoroughly. Our next video is about the general entries, so stay tuned. Please do subscribe to our channel for more videos. Thank you.